Howdy all you buckaroos, it's time to learn how God loves you. So come on now, get out of your pew. Eric's got a great children's message for you. Boy, howdy. Hi, Bethlehem. Howdy, Bethlehem. Today, we're talking about how God speaks to us and our response to God speaking. And we're going to do that by looking at the story of Samuel. And we're talking with two of our friends who came all the way down from St. Helens. That's like an, almost an hour drive to be a part of the children's message this week. So say hello to Taylin and McKenna. So hi, I'm Taylin. And what are you going to have for lunch today? Um, pancakes. Hi, I'm McKenna. And what are you going to have for lunch? Um, peanut butter and jelly. Good choices. Today's story has a lot to do with names. Have you ever named something? I named Mom and Dad. Yes. Taylin, when you were born, you changed your parents' names. They became Mom and Dad. And only you and McKenna get to call them that. Have you named anything else? I named two dogs. Yeah. And Dodge. They named their dogs Kia and Dodge. Can you tell that their dad works for an auto parts department? Well, our story from the Old Testament today starts with a woman named Hannah. Hannah means favor. And Hannah, more than anything else, wanted a child. And so she prayed real hard to God. And God did her a favor and gave her a son. And she rejoiced and gave him the name Samuel. Samuel means ask because she asked God for a child. And she was so thankful that she decided to give Samuel to the church. To Eli, the high priest, to be raised. And so Samuel grew up. And then one night he was sleeping at church. Have you guys ever slept at church? No. What's the weirdest place you've ever slept? In my room. It's not that weird. You ever slept in the car? Uh huh. If you slept in an elevator, turn around and jump up and down in your chair. Anyway, Samuel was sleeping at church and God called out to him. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. Apparently, Samuel was a very heavy sleeper. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel, 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 Samuel. Eventually, Samuel woke up, thought it was Eli, ran to him and said, why did you wake me up? And Eli said, it wasn't me. I want to go to bed. God called to Samuel three more times and eventually Eli realized who was talking. And so he told Samuel, I must have been God. So the next time God called Samuel, Samuel prayed and said, Speak one, yeah. Speak him. It's a listening. Yeah, Samuel said, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Which is what we want to say to God when he speaks to us. Now, God doesn't wake us up in the middle of the night to speak to us all that often, but he does speak to us all the time through the church and through his word. And do you know what God says through his word over and over again? Love you. Yeah, God says, I love you, I love you, I love you, over and over again throughout his word. And he shows us that through Jesus by him coming to earth to be with us, to die for us, and rise for us. That's God's ultimate way of saying, I love you. Now, Samuel 
grew up even more and became a prophet. God used him to anoint some people to be kings. And he even shared God's word with those kings. Now, God might not use you to talk to kings, but he does use you to talk to your friends and share with them God's word. Uh, And God's word says this in John chapter 10, starting at verse 27 on page 1071 in your BBS Bible. Jesus says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never die. And no person can steal them out of my hand. And so God calls us to read his word, to listen and know his voice. So be thankful for what God has done for you through Jesus, that he calls you by name. Listen to him and follow him. And why don't you join me in prayer? Repeat after me. Dear God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, speak to us. Make us your servants. Help us to listen to you. And all God's people said, Amen. Be blessed and be a blessing.